hi there once again welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you this simple photo manipulation technique using photoshop so this is a carrot and this is a concumba so the technique i'm going to show you is going to work for both consider subscribing to this your first time visiting my channel and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials let's jump into action and see how to go about this first of all i'm going to close this i'll close this and then I'm going to close this as well. Okay, I have a pull over here, and you can use any of them. So, first of all, I'm just going to drag one of the pictures I have over here, and I'm going to drag the Kumbumba to Photoshop. So, this is what we're going to use, and then we want to write the word Kumbumba on top of this. So, go to your tools panel and then select your horizontal type tool, and then type the word Kumbumba. Okay, so once you are done typing, just use your move tool. Then just drag it and make sure you align this to wherever you want to place this okay i think i'm comfortable this way and i'll go to my layer and i'll make sure i convert this into what a smart object so go ahead and convert this into a smart object now i want to also adjust the edges a bit so go to edit go to transform or you can control t to do that and then you want to right click and go to warp once you do that let me zoom in on this first so i'm going to just go back to transform again and then we want to select what warp and then now we just want to drag the edges and make sure the text will get close to the edges of this object so we're going to drag it close to the edges of the compound that's what we're going to do i'll so just drag it along just play along with this until you are comfortable with where you have them okay. we are using the warp remember we are using the warp and then i'm just playing along with this so you can continue doing this until you are comfortable i think i'm okay with this and then click on what this check icon or just hit the enter key on the keyboard now we'll go back to our layer panel and then what we're going to do is you want to select this hold down control on your keyboard whilst you select this it's going to select your text for you and then go back and then select the background we are supposed to select the background so select the background and then you come down here and we're going to apply a layer mark so just click and then add a layer mark and you should be getting something like this we'll go back to our text and then turn off the eye and see we have this generated and what i want to do next is i want to create a new background for this so come down here and create a new background let's drag it and bring it below our main layer and then let's just apply some solid color okay so let me just add a white solid color to this and then we are good to go now we want to paint around this we want to paint around this in order to reveal the other part of this object what we'll do is that we have to select the layer marks select the layer marks and then you go to your tools and we are picking out the brush tool select the brush tool and then start painting see what is happening let me just move around this then i'll pay in order to go the other part of this particular object like subscribe and turn on post notification for more techniques it tips and tricks so you can just just brush around this and then you should be setting this up and then you should be getting something just as i have here so you can see how amazing this is looking and see how amazing this is looking we've been able to you can play around this until maybe you're comfortable this is just a simple technique to show you how to manipulate objects or just the pictures using this simple technique i use the same method like i said for the apple and it should work for just any image or fruit whatever you want to use this simple technique should work for that like subscribe and then remember to comment as well and let me know if you need to subscribe to my youtube channel till i come away again Bye-bye.